My name is David Saville and I'm a senior lecturer in creative writing. I'm also a novelist and the program leader of the BA Creative Writing Multidiscipline degree, which is a degree where students work across the school of Sam C. T. They work in film production, in digital media, and with our English and creative writing colleagues. I largely work with students nurturing and editing their creative work. One of the projects I'm working on at the moment is the Northern School of Writing at Salford. This is going to be a conceptual school that brings together writers and researchers across the School of Arts and Media. And as part of that, we're creating a journal called the Northern School of Writing Journal. It's been great using the Salford Open Journals. The team at the library who worked with us on helping to create the journals have been absolutely fantastic at just sort of bringing us into the process and teaching us the ropes. It's something that we didn't even know we needed until we found it really, and that's an official university publication that really makes students feel uh, like they've been honoured and represented by the university that they're, that they're studying in. And that's the important thing for us, is uh, boosting student confidence and giving them that first step into publication that makes them feel nurtured and supported. Working with students on the Open Access Journal has meant that we've been able to take our best students and really give them that extra bit of time. It's motivated us to work with the students as editors, which is, especially for our creative students who might be working on novels and poetry and screenplays, that's the experience they need to have. And having that deadline there of a journal to apply to, that's really excited them. And it's actually made them do better in their assessments because they know that at the end of every trimester, we look at the best work the students have produced, take the top assessed um, pieces, and we're gonna turn that into published work. So when students go into their modules now, they're actually thinking about, can I get into the journal? Can I get my work published? And so that's raising the bar for everybody, as well as giving them that experience of working with us like industry professionals um, and as editors. And in the future, what we're hoping is that students will soon take over the publishing of the journal themselves. So MA students will work in an editorial relationship with BA students try and produce the, uh, the journal and do the peer reviewing. We'll always have oversight of that, but that means we're training them to be publishers in their own right as well as writers. Clearly the future of open access publishing has been the subject of quite some debate in academia recently and on the one hand it's democratising uh, research and it's helping universities raise their research profile helping people and other scholars get access to work that they might not get access to. It's removing some of the barriers and hurdles um, of finances that might be involved in producing a journal or entering your work into a journal. In the creative field, the field that I think about uh, most, um, open access journals are in some kind of competition, I suppose, with independent presses and with publishers. But I think that when you're publishing students in particular, um, this is just a first stepping stone towards those independent publishers and towards the, uh, towards the publishing industry. I think for students of creative work, it's often hard to believe that you can be published, um, especially if you come from the kind of background that a lot of students at Salford do come from and they don't have contact with the publishing industry. So that moment when they actually see their own name attached to a publication, um, branded and supported by the university, it's a real moment of affirmation and validation for the students. Um, so I'd encourage anyone to think about how we create cultural capital in our students and to see open access journals as being a big part of that. If you're thinking about getting involved with Salford Open Journals and you're a little bit apprehensive about the workload or about the tech or about how things are going to work, I'd say don't hesitate, don't worry about those things and just do it. Um, the library are incredibly helpful in terms of um, helping you work through the technological learning curve that there might be. And once you've got your first edition underway, it's really quite easy to, to put together. The benefits for the students are extraordinary. The benefits in terms of their confidence, in terms of their motivation, and also the benefits for you and your research profile as an academic team. It's really a no-brainer.